Okay, uh, good evening. So, it's evening here by the way. Uh, today I'm gonna do a bit on Baba because I see a lot of angst in the Baba stock. Uh. So, Baba, we have been telling you that it has been going sideways, right? For a long ass time, uh, it has been going sideways really. So, you can see the chart uh, ever since um, 2022 is up and down, up and down, up and down this range. Uh. Um, from uh, is it 60? Yeah, I think it's uh, the 60 maybe cannot reach anymore. I think it's about 67. Uh. This is the 998. Uh, the real, this is the Hong Kong dollar one. So I think it went up today, uh, recently until this high, uh, the September. Then it came back down again, bloody hell. So 120 was the best price. So it just ngam ngam ho, okay. Uh, coincide with this resistance here okay so i think if this goes back up again uh, it's going to come back down again so most likely what you see is i think it's going to go sideways first and then it comes down okay so everybody say that thing that oh it's going to be in this uh, upwards momentum uh, that goes up like that but you can see that it was somewhat exaggerated here okay goes up but boom so this is because of the what talan and all the influencers they bluff people right Say the market is gonna go up, and then I think he he's got his silence really. I think they, they catch him or something like that. They give him a lecture. You do that again, we catch you, and then we put you in prison. Okay. So this one go up, go up, then come back down again. And then now when I look at the uh, how the things are going, uh, uh, I think we are in danger, really, uh, This one. So the question is. I know you're going to ask me, Robert, is going to go, come up or come down, come up or come down. I cannot 100% say, la, but it's just that if this breaks down, uh, uh, this level of about 87, it goes down to maybe 86, something like that. I think the moment it goes 86 or 85, uh, um, there's a high possibility that this is con going to continue to uh, go sideways again here. So my prediction this time is, if it does breach 86, uh, it's going to come down to roughly here, the $80 level. Okay, go sideways like that. And then after that, I don't know, can go up and go down, so nobody knows. So for now, I think this upwards uh, channel may still hold, may, okay, may. So I told people that, yeah, I think there's a possibility, uh, there's a quite uh, resistance at about 87, uh, 86 around here. Uh. 88 la, around there. So I think now you can buy la, if you want buy slowly. I don't like the idea you must buy when it's uh, the lowest and the highest. I think you want to buy uh, where it's uh, appropriate. La. Okay. But I'm not kidding you when I say that if this is breach, I think it's going to come down. I think if this level is breach, uh, if 85, 84 is breach, I think most likely it's going to come down to somewhere about 79 la, 79 like that yeah so you ask me robert is it possible that baba gonna come back down to uh 70 dollars again that got possibility okay if china is actually not doing the everybody is hoping for the stimulus you know if they're not doing the stimulus huh, then the whole thing is going to crash all the rally that we got here you're gonna you're gonna fade back here, you know, fade to eighty dollars again, you know, okay? Yeah, we're gonna fade down again. So this is not a joke, lah. Okay, not a joke. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I keep telling you all is that um, when it's time to take profit, you must take profit. You don't stay down there like idiot. Well, wow, you especially when it's a very huge percentage of your portfolio, that is crazy, man. You should take profit, and then it comes down, then you buy again. Then it goes up, then you take profit, then it comes down, you buy again. Because the pattern has been there, you see. This thing has been volatile for a long time. Okay? So you take some profits lah, here, right? Doesn't mean you take all, lah. don't be stupid, lah, right? Maybe you take 20%, 30%, then it comes down, right? Now it comes down somewhere here in the middle, maybe you can buy a bit. Come down again somewhere, you buy a bit, right? So you, you reduce your, your, your average cost, like that. Okay. Or you are still in the game, uh, you are still in the skin game. So I like this. Um, Baba is a trade, uh, I would say. Okay. So I caution you all uh, 
don't be too greedy la, in the market. So you see the pattern, la, then you know, oh, it's always sideways. Okay, let's do the sideways trade. La. Let's play the sideways trade. So I, I believe, la, okay, I believe la, that it is likely, okay, if we breach this uh, resistance, we are going to go to 78. La. Okay, that's my take. Right. We are likely to go to $78. Okay. So you're going to ask me, uh, if somebody curse me and all that, blah, 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 I'm not going to make this video anymore. I see an idiot also. Okay. Nobody knows what's going to happen. This is just technical. Technical is in the market. Right. The value is higher. Of course, the value is higher. I think everybody knows about that, right? But then the technical uh, is the demand and supply. Lah. Okay, so I think a lot of people they got disappointed. Uh. I think even Michael Dewey said, "Oh shit, where is the, uh, where is the, where is the stimulus, man? Okay, where is the stimulus?" Okay. Now I think you all are mistaken on one thing. Uh. I think it's on purpose. One, you know, they crash the property market. They do this so that you keep the prices low, so you can still compete. Uh. I think they are preparing something. Okay. For Baba, that's it. Uh. 